What's up guys, Shawnee Dogs here, and in this video we'll be talking about an ordinary weapon with extraordinary capabilities. I'm gonna stop talking like this before you guys click off the video. We're talking about the VPR, and for those of you who have been playing Infinite Warfare throughout the game's life cycle, you'll think that this is a little bit strange. It was one of the first DLC weapons introduced into the game, along with the X-Eon, and it was absolute trash. It was so bad that they actually buffed the weapon and for about one week, it became like the best weapon in COD history. It was absolutely ridiculous. It killed way too quickly and had virtually no damage drop off at range. And you could essentially snipe people across the map with a 90 ammo capacity submachine gun. It was just way too unfair. And after that week, the gun received a huge nerf. It now only holds 54 bullets and it no longer has that same long distance sniping ability that it had before. Now I am telling you right now, since that week where it received this nerf, the gun has been untouched. They've done nothing else to this weapon. All they did is make it so that you essentially can't snipe people anymore at long range. It still has ridiculous accuracy, but it does have some amount of damage drop off. Now, what does that do for the weapon? I'm telling you, they did not nerf this thing enough. It still has that insane OP melting ability. It's just that now this ability is capped off at around 20 feet or so before you do start to experience some drop off. So while you won't be able to snipe people across the map instantly, the insane accuracy that this weapon has, you will still be able to hit your target at range. It's just going to take a few more bullets than it did before the patch. Now what I'm showing you guys here, this is the second game that I was using this weapon in a very long time, like months on months, probably since that patch and I went 48 and 1. A 48 KD in TDM, and honestly, there's just no weapon that compares. Even when I was going up against tryhards that were using K-Bars and Synaptic, this thing kills faster, and that's with a silencer. I'm actually using the Gilkai, which is the epic variant for the VPR, and what that does is it makes it so you have a permanent silencer on the weapon, but it doesn't count in your attachment slot. So it makes this thing just that much more overpowered because I'm running quick draw, foregrip, extended mags, and rifled barrel along with this silencer. And with that exact setup, that leaves you three points. So you can still have a perk in each slot. I'm running ghost, so I'm completely undetectable and also scavenger and dead silence. You pretty much can't run out of ammo with this thing because it stacks up over 300 bullets as you start picking up scav packs. It blows my mind. I feel like after this thing got nerfed when it was insanely overpowered, People just sort of forgot about it. And I'm telling you, the gun is insane. I didn't even have to play more than 10 games and I was actually up against some decent competition. The gameplays that you can get with this thing are ridiculous. Because it has so much ammo, you're gonna be reloading a lot less with this 54 bullet ammo capacity. Honestly, it takes someone down in like seven bullets or less. So you can mow down an entire team without even having to reload. And the other weapon perk that this epic variant has is when you kill someone, it does not reveal that white skull and crossbones. So people cannot see where their teammates died, which makes this a perfect weapon for flanking. Now you're probably thinking, all right, what if we don't have this epic variant? Is it still good? Well, it is still the same amazing gun. The only issue is that because this thing already comes with that silencer attached, you will have to substitute out one of the four attachments that I mentioned earlier in order to replace that silencer. So have at it. A lot of people may have forgotten about this weapon, but I certainly did not. Also, please let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more of this ADD type style of gameplay where I just show you all of the kills rather than showing the whole gameplay itself. I will obviously continue to do live comms on the channel and those will still be full gameplay. But last night, I asked you guys on my Twitter what I could improve on to make the channel that much better. So I'll open up the same question to the comments. If you have any suggestions for improvement, I am all ears. I have a crazy fast paced live com nuke on Genesis for you guys. But before I get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to the notification squad. I'll show a few of you guys on screen here. You just have to hit that little bell icon to become a part of it. And if you're one of the first people to watch and like my videos, screenshot it at me on Twitter and you will be automatically entered for your chance that I will get a live com nuke for you on the channel and include that in a future video and if you don't like taking your chances i do also offer live com nukes for supporters of the channel on my patreon page a link to that page is down in the description below all right let me break it down for the folks at home i'm using the k-bar going in i usually don't do live comms with the k-bar because it's too good but my man he doesn't have the uh the advanced uav that i'm used to he doesn't have the epic variant he just has the regular one so i'm gonna show you guys the power of the k-bar it's vicious All business here. That man had an axe. Oh, oh. It's looking good, folks. That guy did not have dead silence. We got an AFK. Let's do it. 
Do have one guy running skinny bot? Let's see if he poses a threat. Oh. Saw a third guy. Looks like the teammates got him. And now we're pushing on into the house. Alright, we're good. We're good. Business. Oh. Oh, nice spider, dude. Interesting. Very interesting outcome right there. The spider chased me down an entire hallway. And I got double teamed. Couldn't do anything. One more, one more. Okay, teammate, I see you. We're taking the shortcut. Oh, man. I, I guess they can't kill me with bullets anymore. It's a thing of the past. Unbelievable, man. They have a guy running around with an axe, and I'm getting killed by spiders. I almost got melted there. Not quite, though. Do we have anything? Oh. Oh, it's too easy, boys. They're definitely spawning right there. Got him. Oh, crap. Why you hiding? Come on, dog. Oh, we're pushing. Pushing now. There's like three guys out here. Oh, I heard him. Oh, man. That guy's picking corners. Oh, MV4? Give me that. Let's see what you got. Oh, man. Oh, it's looking good. But we're not going to mess around too much. I'm trying to drop a nuke. Oh, I hear this guy. <laughs> oh, wow. This man's clueless. All right. He tried to pre-fire me. I see how it is. Where's this guy at? Too easy. You know, I don't know if I needed to use reactive right there, but the way I look at it, if I'm alive, it's not a waste. Because if I died, I would have been like, oh, I should have reused reactive. But we're good. Backing off, backing off. I hear an auger. Oh, man. He was pre firing that claw around the corner. What a specimen. Nice camping spot. Dude, honestly, this advance doesn't even help that much. It's just a regular UAV. I could have got pooped on right there if that guy had any idea where I was. Oh, nice spawn point, bro. Jeez. Yeah, not taking any chances. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we got the whole team coming. Oh, bombardment. Okay. Now it's time to push. Oh. Oh. It's getting spicy. Oh, one more. One more. Woo! Game's about to end, too. Oh, my God. Absolutely shredded. There's the jug. And more, baby. Oh. I hope I don't see any comments. Oh, you should have should have let your nuke blow up. No, they were going to get the kills. It was either that or I let someone else get final kill cam. But that's it, man. That game took less than five minutes and I dropped 48 kills. Going ham with the K bar. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. Some more great videos and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.